And hello, visuals. Welcome back to the Visual Guys uh, Rumble on Random Whatever Tuesday Visual Video, whatever the fuck we're doing. I just said to Chris that I've got a. Sorry, Chris is here. Uh, we were just oh, yeah. we were recording the entertainment news, and I said to Chris, "Oh, you got your memory hat on because now we're at the end of the year. And there's only one more to come." No, we're not. Huh? No, we're not. We're almost there. No, we're not. Um, still got six weeks. Yeah, we still have a couple of weeks left. Uh, and there's one more nerdy film to come out. But it's been a while. Yeah, there's one more nerdy film to come out. Like actual nerdy comic book nerd. I don't know what's um, Yeah, how can I give you a clue? It's a sexy man that might or may or may not have sex with fish. Oh, you <laughs> come on. Uh, I thought we would do yet another Bracket Chris. Boom, 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 boom. Right, but this one... Bracket. This one is quite cool because I only just, I only just had enough shit to make an actual bracket about the nerdy films and shows we've got this year. Okay. Right, uh, but there is one on here that's going to have to go through on default. Right. Okay, I will get to that in a sec. And there are someone here that I know is going to be a bit of a challenge and whatnot, but I, I can't. I can't wait, so hopefully you can get a flashback and whatnot. You're not looking as always. You're hiding away till the yeah. thingies. But it's, yeah. it's a, it's a. what was the best comic book uh, film slash show this year? And uh, obviously, you know the rules of the bracket. Uh, if we can't decide, Chris, it's just a good old game of rock, paper, scissors of yeah. who's to go through yeah. and whatnot. But are we ready? You remember the rules of the bracket anyway. We haven't done one in ages. Before. I need to do another one. Yeah, we need to do another one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait for my one that needs to go through by default. It will save that to the end. So we'll start off already, Chris, with a film that we enjoyed, but not a lot of other people did. It's Flash versus Transformers. So remember the rules of this, as long as they've got comic books, they classify as yeah. comic books thingies. So it's the Flash against Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. <laughs> I know Chris is thinking of that scene. I am. <laughs> try and think of Transformers though, try and I be am. I am. Don't tell me you can't I'm, remember it. No, I'm, 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 I'm leaning more towards the Flash. See, I, 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 I can't remember. I think me, I me, enjoyed the Flash more than me and you, Transformers. Me and you really did enjoy the Flash. I loved the Flash. Yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, it's a bit of a shame we got so shut on. I, there, there were some elements that were rocky, but I had fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but there's Transformers, uh, the Maximals being amazing. It was good, don't get me wrong, it was brilliant. Mm. But I think I lean more towards You definitely the laughed flash. you definitely laughed more in uh, yeah. uh in in the flash. Um I loved that film. Right, so okay, am I just gonna go through with you or am I gonna say Transformers? No, I I'm even though we've got a Transformers Marathon today. <laughs> Round the corner. <laughs> yeah, come on. A few weekends yeah. away. Um, I think we're going to have to have our first Rock, Paper, Scissors twist. I think we're going to have to say Transformers. I can't get the scene of Bumblebee coming out of the aeroplane out of my head and just... Boom, boom, oh, yeah, boom, yeah, that is, fuck it. But this is one of the ones where I'm like, I wouldn't mind if the flesh went through. But I think it's because, you know, in terms of these fictional characters, I think I'd probably prefer, like, Optimus to the Flash and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just, there was something about the Transformers film that really fucking got to me. Like, I loved Mirage. I loved Scourge. I loved seeing the Maximals. I loved when they're, they're, they both line up together. Autobots, Maximals, roll out. And they, you know, terra, uh, ter terraform and fucking, oh, it was just, oh, it was beautiful. So we might have to rock, paper, scissors on this one, Chris, the first yeah. one. So just rock, paper, scissors. No, wait, that's not just Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You ready? Paper, scissors, so rock, shoot. paper, scissors, present whatever you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> we could have a coin, but I don't know where a coin is. No. So you ready, Chris? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And it's paper, so the... And it literally is paper. So the flash goes through on bracket number. I forgot how fun brackets were. That is the flash. We'll go the other side then. And we'll do the Loki season two okay. up against Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Mate, it's some of them I've tried to make some of them really, really hard. Except Loki season two was a brilliant season, and like I say, it ended Loki on a high. Loved it. And Guardians was just Guardians was fucking ugh. You were laughing, you were crying, you were fucking all you were, you were, you were mixed emotions. It was fucking outstanding. It was, um, I'm 
of a bit of sick ideas of this. Yeah, as much as I love that last final shot of Loki and I love everything Tom Hiddleston and Loki that gave us, I'm going to have to say Guardians of the Galaxy as well, pal. So Guardians of the Galaxy goes through. We'll go to the one that I said one of them has to go through on default. Okay. Okay, and it's Super Mario, which has manga, and I'm going to class that for the sake of this bracket as comic books. It's not, but for the sake of this, it's comic books. Okay. Up against one that automatically has to fail, and I'm so gutted it does, but I needed something there. But it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film. You haven't seen it, so Super Mario, that's why I'm saying Super Mario has to go through on default, but I had to add it because the bracket wouldn't, wouldn't have worked then. We would have been one short. But it just for you know the, the record, I think I would have said TMNT. It was fucking TMNT was again one of the best times out at the cinema in not just this year, in fucking years. I will get well to watch it. Super Mario goes through. Well, what should we do next? What should we do next? Here, here's here's a tough one then, because we've got recency bias. So hopefully you can remember. We'll do Black Panther, uh, Wakanda Forever against the Marvels. Now, are we doing the first Black Panther or the second? Well, only one of them come out this year, Chris. And it's the second Black Panther. <laughs> okay. uh, Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. Uh, goodbye, our farewell to Chadwick Boseman, yes. which were t- the tones of the films were two completely different tones. It was. Um, was but the other Marvels. Again, I enjoyed them both. Um... But I think I'm going to have to lean more towards Black Panther. I'd agree with you. Just because obviously it, it was emotional. It was that goodbye. And Mate. Shiri did a fucking phenomen, Mate. phenomenal job. The end on the beach where she sees her nephew, she had no idea she had to say, you know, I'm named T'Challa after my dad. Like, oh, she fucking, she fucking, oh, it's fucking gut-wrenching. Yeah. I, would, I would more than, more than happily agree with that. It's fucking... Beautiful. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. Right, we'll go to Blue Beetle yes. against Quantum Mania. I'm another one Quantum Mania against Blue Beetle. Again, both good films. Um, if to refresh your memory, because uh, I don't know if you need it, I know you weren't as in love with Quantum Mania as I was. No. I know you were a bit hit and miss on it, but you did enjoy it. And I know you weren't keen on Blue Beetle when you first saw it, but you enjoyed it when you got out. Yeah. <laughs> Quantum Mania, obviously, we got Modoc, we got uh, another Kang variant, Jonathan Majors, we got that cool Ant Man scene where his ants climb basically climbing on each other and whatnot. Uh, we get to see more of his daughter, which is amazing. Um, Blue Beetle was a hell of a ride, it was fun. Uh, I, I, I fucking loved every part of it. But again, I really enjoyed Quantum Mania. You might have to be the, the, the toss up here. There's one that I want to go with just because I fell in love with him. Um, I'm probably gonna go with Blue Beetle. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I, I, as much as I look, I, I just Blue Beetle give me an extra layer of love. I love the way they did this. I love the family aspect. I yeah. love the the vibrant colours they used in it. Uh, I, do you know what? I'm I'm not, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, I won't debate that, mate. I'll put it straight on. Blue Beetle's gonna go in. Um, hopefully you finished it, but I think it's gonna go through for you anyway. But it's Gen V. Did you finish it? No, yeah. Doesn't matter anyway because it's up against. Secret Invasion. Okay. Right, so I've already got an answer for this. Even though I adored one of them, the finale of another one just blew my dick clean off. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> right, but obviously I know your... Secret Invasion was a bit of hit and miss. Yeah, you, you definitely, definitely weren't the biggest fan of it. No. Um, I can't really say much. How many really... episodes are you in? But to be fair, mate, I'll just say it for you now. Without even watching it, you'll pick Gen V because of that finale. When you get to it, nah, I think I was gonna pick it anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going Gen V. Gerard. I'm going, yeah. Gerard, Jensen. I'm going Gen V. All right, here's one for you because it's fun and interesting, and I've, I can include him because there are currently comic books of it. It's, it's not thing. It's not of a debate. It's John Wick. I knew you'd say that. Because there's comic books. <laughs> I know what you were going to say that. Up against As- uh, Asuka. That's a fucking... Uh, That's also comic uh, Up against Ahsoka. Ahsoka. And I put them together because, you know, John Wick's, you know, um, uh, more an earthly thing. But Ahsoka is kind of in a weird way John Wick-esque. 
running rogue from a, 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 a you know, yeah. a, a, not federation of the Jedi, but going rogue, going on her own, uh, right. surviving and having to fight constantly. I'm going <laughs> off the synopsis. And it's just obviously John Wick 4. That's a big word for me, synopsis. <laughs> I'm going off the synopsis mm. of what we've seen in episode 3? I was, I was four, so keen. Or was it 4? Uh, oh, you mean the stuff with Anakin and Vader? Yeah. Oh, that was so out of that, I'm going to pick Ahsoka. Yeah, I'd have to pick Ahsoka just for that. John Wick with... The, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan, but I, I fucking loved the in the flat complex, the bird's eye view, then the stair fight. And it, even though it was Family Guy comedy esque, he rolled and he rolled and he rolled and he stopped and he rolled and he rolled. And he rolled, and he rolled. The fact that he had to sort of go, let's go again. It was, I, I re- John Wick 4 was so much fun. It but, was, I enjoyed it. But a so could give us that fucking oh, yeah. transition that just, again, yeah. just like Jen Vixen. Yeah, so she was she, she, yeah, yeah, it's, Her, whatever her name is, the actress, I think she's fucking brilliant. She does so much stuff with Kevin Smith as well. She, she has, has loads of yeah. Kevin Smith stuff. And obviously she was a part of the Luke Cage fucking... Yeah, she was the night nurse. Yeah. She's a phenomenal fucking she, actress. She's fucking great. Are we in agreement on saying Asuka? Yeah. Why do I keep saying Asuka? Ahsoka. I think I've got wrestling on my mind. Ahsoka. Right. And then that puts us into our last few. Ah. Right. We'll go with. Oh. It's deep. We'll go for DC. Oh, no. We've got one more on the other side. Oh, I think oh, this oh, one's self explanatory oh, oh. because it's going to be very hard for me not to put this in the final. That's why I've put it up against something else because okay. I think you'll agree with me here. I might not. It's Shazam. <laughs> you might not, but it's Shazam Fury of the Gods against Across the Spider Verse. <laughs> but if Spider Verse goes through, I have a conundrum on my mind. But we'll see because Shazam might go through. We don't know well, yet. This Shazam I didn't mind as much as the last. Yeah, one. you were just like Blue Beetle. To be fair, you were you were yeah, completely I didn't surprised. Mind this one to be fair. Spider people. Yeah, and all them spider people. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously that's gonna go forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it might not if you prefer Shazam. But she, it was fucking perfection, <laughs> mate. It was perfection. Just the colour schemes and everything else. Like it, it was a good film. That chase sequence, the ending alone, the ending absolutely alone. And mate, do you know what? Because obviously I'm. I wasn't really big with it, was I? I can't you, you, remember. you did. You definitely did enjoy it more than the first one. You said I really liked it, but you mm. didn't enjoy it more than the yeah. first one. And do you know what else is beautiful, mate? Because obviously I rewatch it constantly, constantly, constantly. About four or five weeks ago, I rewatched it. I, I watched the credits properly, and the credits themselves, the animation tells the story of the next film like subliminally it's like oh my god there's so much attention to detail in these films it's and the very end of miles up against miles the prowler the fact that it was this miles was never supposed to be a spider stuff this interactions with miguel and, and all that shit was just oh my god i, I, can't, I i'm glad you put this through because i can't make a decision on the next one and i kind of want it to fall on you i want you to have to make this because yeah. i i can't do it uh but, but we're, we're both saying spider-man yeah Right, so we'll say Spider Man. Yeah. Right, we'll go with DC versus DC. It's okay. the Flash against Blue Beetle. And I, f- I think I know where you're going to go now, but I think I might be the <laughs> other side, so it might have to be rock, paper, scissors again, I think, maybe. I'm still thinking Flash. Yeah, I, I, I loved Flash so much. I don't know why. I did. Why, I, I, know, I do understand why some people hated it. And I, I understand me and you can be a bit like duh, silly, goofy, because you know, especially that fucking scene. Yeah, <laughs> right. And I could understand if somebody said like that was just annoying and not funny. But we were at the back, like that was my second time watching it. Like, oh my god, that was fun. you know what I mean? That's fucking hysterical. It, it was so funny. But I, I just think for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Blue Beetle because this this particular portrayal, but I fell in love with him so fucking hard and I'm so happy James Gunn's willing to keep him on so I think we might have to go rock paper scissors again you said flash yeah, yeah I'm gonna go blue beetle uh, so we'll do rock paper scissors again All right so see no rules yeah so do I <laughs> <laughs> hey, really? rock paper scissors shoot rock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got rock Chris got stuck um, scissors and I was 
<laughs> I, I, I forgot which one wins, uh, but uh, it says Blue Beetle. I can't help it. I'm a fucking idiot. Right, we'll go with... Oh, this one's going to be so hard for me, but uh, it's Gen V against Ahsoka. I know you can't be too critical on Gen V because you haven't seen it all yet, even though I told you that the ending's going to blow your dick off. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it'll blow my dick off as much as what I saw in Ahsoka. I will say that. Going on that scenario then, back there, off that sucky fuck I'm on in three episodes in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think by, by default, so- so- <laughs> yeah, you are right, mate. You are a soaker by default. Um, Super Mario against Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Black Panther. Um, <laughs> there's, yeah. no, there's no argument with that one. Don't get me wrong, Super Mario was brilliant. It was so it good. Was good. It was so it was good. good. I th- yeah, I would, I would be more than happy to agree. I'm glad this happened, Chris. I'm glad this happened. It needed to play out. Like I said, I've, I have worked it so this would happen because I still to this day can't. Mm. But it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 against Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. And it's been a conundrum that's been eating me up inside so much because I fucking. It's hard. Honestly, I would go with Guardians. Mm-hmm. I'm the, mate, I'm, I'm, that ju- is the one. I sweet like again, both of them are good films, but fucking Guardians was phenomenal. See my natural rocket scene was beautiful. I was about to say my natural instinct is to be like, hey, fuck you, Spider Man, always win, Spider Man, Spider Man. But then I go for a sec, I rem- I remember the the scream, I remember Lila, I remember him getting revenge and uh, revenge on the high evolutionary, the bond between the guardians coming together, Peter and it's like, oh my god, this is just fucking beautiful. I want to take the but even though I, I felt these beautiful scenes, and if you ask me tomorrow, I could turn around and say Spider Man. You ask me the day after, I go back to Guardians. Mm. This has been one of the worst inner conflicts I've had in my entire life. Of which one of these I prefer most, and it's fucking killing, mate. It's it's awful. But I'm I'm letting you take. I'm not even going to argue. You're going to go Guardians, so I just have to put it through. Um, right, that leaves us with too emotional against an awesome and really, really fun and awesome. But I, I think I know who's going to go on the final on the left, I think. It's Blue Beetle against Ahsoka. Okay. Yeah, I, Blue Beetle, I tried to carry you all the way, mate. And I know it was only a 40-minute episode or wherever it was of Vader shenanigans, yeah. but I, I can't get that out of my head. I really can't. So, yeah, I, I, I will take... Ahsoka in the final any day, mate. And that leaves two emotional ones, mate, but I think I still have to decide whatever one. It's Black Panther up against Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> it's farewell to the Guardians and it's farewell to Chadwick. Yeah. It's who... going to have to be farewell to Chadwick. Oh, you're going Chadwick. Yeah. Oh, we might we have to rock this, isn't there? Because as much as I had thingied, the animal ab- abuse in that film pisses me off oh, to the it core. Oh, it does. It pisses me off. Nothing. But I think... Chewie did a fucking oh, not, uh, yeah just because I want to side with Guardians it takes nothing away from Black Panther I mean that like I said that scene at the end where she's seen yeah. and it, it feels like Shuri was like the actress can't remember her name was genuinely crying at that moment because obviously you got to remember she was impacted by Chadwick not not just Shuri was impacted by T'Challa dying in the story no. but the real life story was also yeah. and it was beautiful yeah. but as much as like most of these things on this have got my dick so hard <sighs> Watching Rocket Raccoon finally say to the High Evolutionary when he gets his gravity boots on him, I'm Rocket Raccoon and smashing him in the fucking face. And my first time seeing that going, fuck you, you horrible, cruel cunt. Oh, nothing's got my heart pounding so fucking much. Uh, so I'm going to have to say Guardians just because fuck you, High Evolutionary, you beautiful actor. I will say that, <laughs> but fuck you. Uh, but you're going to stick with Black Panther. Yeah. Right, so we'll rock, paper, scissors on it, mate. Tell me who wins straight away because that broke my mind. Uh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> rock, we did both did paper and I did think. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's paper. So Chris wins that one. Black Panther is in the final. And that leaves Ahsoka against Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Who's coming out of top, Chris? Black Panther. Um... Mate, every single one of these has a reason to be in there. Right, that's yeah, do you know what? I feel like I should side with it because I love the Soka, I agree with you, she's a fantastic actress, she's a so good character's amazing, I can't wait to see the story leads. 
Um, it was it was a a dick hard moment for the episode of the Vader transitions. Yeah. But I don't know if I should let a transition be this fucking phenomenal farewell we got to a real life person. Like I am looking forward to seeing a lot more of Ahsoka, and hopefully, if we do get the sequel. More of Christian and whatever that lass is called. Yeah. I'm hoping to see more of them too. Yeah. Young Ahsoka and Darth. And hopefully somewhere they meet up with, yeah. well, obviously not Pedro Mando by the looks of it. Oh, I might be able to make cameos and other shit. Yeah, he's just saying he's not doing Mandalorian. But we, hopefully we meet up in his other parts yeah. of this galaxy unexplored. I completely agree with you. Ahsoka was outstanding. Everything on that list. TMNT for me would have also been hard to beat. TMNT would for me have got to be the last four. So hopefully you can watch it soon. Um, but no, I think, yeah, Black Panther was a real fucking... Was it, and like, it, w- w- we keep mentioning Chadwick and that, but at the same time, I loved Namor. I thought he was a fantastic yeah, villain. He was. Uh, I loved the, the whole, you know, Wakanda's been this extremely strong, un- uninvadable, unindestroyable um, uh, place on the planet, this country. But then um, the Atlanteans come and they fucking, you know, they, they absolutely fuck it up. And in the final battle, Iron Legion was... was st- sorry, the Iron Legion. Uh, Ironheart was also great in it as well. She's she was a bit overlooked. Um, uh, yeah, I'm 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 more than happy to go back Black Panther. I, I need I know that Darth Vader scene keeps playing on my head, and it is just something yeah. of absolute. Like if poetry was was a visual, the transition was, was amazing. It was yeah, it was just and especially I to be fair, there might be other Star Wars fans out there much more hardcore than might have seen that coming. But when he's walking off, I didn't expect to see that that flash of junior. I'm like. Thinking, what the fuck? Like I literally got out of bed thinking, what the what the fuck have I just watched? What the fuck is? <laughs> but um, Black Panther was yeah, and that um that uh, they slowed down that remix that Bob Marley song that no one shed no tear yeah. oh and oh yeah I'm I'm happy to go Black Panther mate I really am happy to go Black Panther that's fine so uh, Black Panther is a winner uh it's the uh the visuals best comic book. Film of 2023. Yeah, we're in 2023. <laughs> I couldn't remember what Rick Pimp's scissors rules were. Jesus Christ, I can't remember what year it is. Uh, yeah, so that Black Panther's come up on top. I fucking love doing brackets. Um, Aquaman, I would have replaced probably Super Mario for Aquaman in there. I just was too impatient. I can't wait till the 22nd of December. 22nd of I wanted to get the bracket done now. Um, but even so, as much as I think me and you are going to enjoy Aquaman... It probably wouldn't have made the top, I don't think. Probably not. I don't think so, anyway. Probably not. I'm not. Yeah, I don't don't think so. Uh, But there we go, visuals. If you disagree with our outcome, if you think, I don't know, Blue Beetle should have won, or The Flash should have won, or Shazam. I don't know why I mentioned the only three DC things there. Or John Wick. You have to let us know in the comments. It doesn't matter because it's not your game. It's our game. <laughs> it's our game. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll figure out. It, it's going to be a bit weird to do next year if there's only one MCU, free Sony things. Sure, we'll find something to do with the amount of films we we'll, watch. Yeah, we'll absolutely find. Yeah, you'll have, you'll have to let us know, actually. If, if I replaced, uh, if you've seen TMNT, you, if you can remember by the time you've watched it, which you probably won't, you'll have to let us know how far you would have let that go as well. I won't remember that. Well, you'll have to just say, if you, if you, if, I'll be I able to remember. remember what it was up against. So, well, it was up against Super Mario. But <laughs> if you, yeah. when you watch it eventually, just tell me, and I'll say right. So if you say Dan, it was fucking awful. I know it would have been dead and buried. If you say Dan, I pure enjoyed that was the third best thing. I'd have said, oh, you probably would have been top top four then. Right. You know what I mean? I'll remember for you, mate. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna go relax now in our beautiful cinema and watch a lot of murders with Thanksgiving weapons and people being cooked alive. Yes. Apparently the first 10 minutes is quite a wacky, over-the-top, like, what-the-fuck intro. I heard it on a reviewer earlier. I don't know what that means in terms of a thriller. Mm. Fuck knows. A slasher film. Fuck knows. Um, but yeah, sorry, we're going to go see Thanksgiving. That's what I want about visuals. But that was our bracket for best comic book film slash show of the year. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is out. Uh, can you finish us off with any Black Panther potential news? When are we seeing them again? Do you know? Chris is our news guy, obviously, if you listen to the podcast. Nothing is scheduled. Uh-huh. Nothing is... To fair, it's not even been brought up in the fucking... Nah. No. Nah, there's nothing been mentioned about when everyone's going to see him next. I assume it's going to be about Panther 3. It will be, probably, but when, I have no idea. Yeah, I've not seen any... Unless Shuri becomes part of the Young Avengers, which I don't understand. Probably not. 
No, probably not. <clears throat> she's now the queen of Wakanda. It wouldn't make sense yeah, to chuck her in the kid. Yeah, she's still a rebel, isn't she? Yeah, she, and she, she's a young girl, but it wouldn't make sense to have the queen of one of the most powerful countries just going with the young no. Avengers. It wouldn't, especially now that Black Panther's a main main. Yeah. Did you see as well before we end it? Um, like, see after Endgame, the the three main characters in the MCU that they were going to pitch everything to was Spider Man, Tom Holland, Spider Man. Fine, amazing. It's going to be the heart and whatnot. Um, Captain Marvel, yep, going to be the powerhouse and whatnot. And the third one, who was going to potentially be the leader of the Avengers, was Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther. That's what their plans were. And I was seen that, I was like, oh, that's fucking... I know. Hey, I'll still take it. Sure, not a fucking problem. Amazing. Um, oh, yeah, it's just, it's still one of the most... Every death is weird. Sorry to end on a depressing note. And every, you know, bit of like, so-and-so's died, they've died. It's always weird. But there was something about him because we were watching these films, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Endgame and that. And... We didn't know, but at the time he, he's fighting cancer. Yeah. And we're watching when I, I, I don't think you are, but I've gone back and I've you know, I've watched Black Panther, I've watched Avengers and shit loads of times. And I watch now, I always look and think, How the fuck are you doing this when you're dealing with that? I'll take my hat off to him, like he's he's, he's soldiered on proper. And it was the cause stage four usually means you're gone, isn't it? Yeah, he was saying in an interview or what. Because he had stage four, he's like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna beat it, it's fine, I'm gonna get over it, and we'll carry on. It's like, oh my god, I admire that so much. Because a lot of people would have been like, stage four, it's you know, you don't get back from this or not. But it's, it's a lot, treatment is a lot better nowadays, I will give it that, than it was. Mm. Like, say, when my mum died of it, it, it was it was still like a experimental, not well, not really experimental, but it was kind of still like a, a taboo subject, not a lot of people talked about it, right. Um, but nowadays, it's just like it's it's everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's it's just weird, and the the, the 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 treatment again back then, it was awful because, like I said, when my mum went used to go to treatment, she was ill for two to three well, days. Well, yeah, you have to like make the meal, don't they? Yeah. To like, because it's the the the, the chemotherapy. That's sorry to end this on this fucking note. Cause you're so know. sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but she was ill for two to three days. My mum, she, so she couldn't do anything. So, you know, imagine, imagine obviously having it in your mum, and the next thing you know, you see her in these big action films, thinking, Gee, "How are you fighting through what this?" Mean? So I, I don't know what it's like now. I don't know if they've changed the treatment round or what. Well, you did or just, it's still this, or the tweak did, but I don't know. Saw that interview with him, didn't you? Between certain films where he wasn't working out because he didn't need to be jacked and he looked skinny and that, and someone called him, didn't they? Like the malnourished pamphlet or whatever. They didn't know still. They were ripping of being skinny. But how bad must they feel now? Um, but yeah, I think he even did that 21 Bridges on Netflix. I, we, I, whilst I, I, he was I, in I, I, If you go back and watch the interviews, there's that one of him sat next to Paul Bettany, Vision, uh-huh. and he keeps nodding. Paul Bettany touches his arms like, you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm fine, fine. But obviously somebody said it's because before that, the interviews, of he was quickly getting a shot of chemo and stuff in mm-hmm. and then going in. So he, when he was doing the interviews, talking about the film, he just wanted to like nod. And it's like, oh my God. Man. I, I, I told my mum. If you can, I know, I know you can say well, it's only making a film; it's not very hard. But it's still long days. It's still being out and about. It's still going to be in this character. It's still going to be friend. He's the Black Panther for fuck's sake. So he had to look a certain way. Uh, it's, it's, it's going through that, then having the chemo, then fucking having to do fucking twelve hours of shooting. It's not just a film; it's a fucking yeah. It's a, it's a rock. Remember, his fr- his frame, <laughs> his me- brain's already frazzled with this, but he has to remember, okay, I need to stand here. Well, this is my line. I need to turn up to Captain America and say this. I need to remember to do this. Any choreography he had to do, and he had to remember all of it whilst his head's probably already getting battered. Yeah. You, uh, fucking kudos to him. And I, I thought Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, was a fucking beautiful tribute to him. Yeah, it was. It was like I said, we didn't know him personally, but that funeral at the start of the film, it, it kind of felt yeah. like it was for everybody. Yeah. Was a nice send off, I think. I keep getting shivers the more I talk about this, man. It was, but yeah. So my point was, like, it was, it was just weird seeing it, like seeing, like I said, no, every death is like, oh, so, you know, Stanley, the Stanley one would never fucking sit with us, right? Because what a fucking depressing time. I never had baths, but I was in the bath when I found out Stanley, one of my biggest heroes of all time, died, and I'm like, so I'm weeping away in the bath, thinking, how the fuck? What are the odds of this? Why has God looked at me for how you people love him? You're in the bath naked with your little sausage knob out. Stanley's dead. And I was like, what the fuck? 
But yeah, that that one we always like left a. It was one of the ones we will end it and we'll stop being so <laughs> fucking depressing. It was one of the ones you know we see a lot of celebrities. So and so's dad, you think it's fake? It was one of the ones of shit. I thought, fuck off, that's a bunch of bullshit. And next thing you know, you see it somewhere else, and then someone's going, "Hey, Trevor, what's wrong with you?" And he's thinking, "This is real. This is fucking real. What the fuck?" Yeah, mental, absolutely mental. But yeah, but Black Panther is our winner it ultimately. Is our winner. Um, I was going to include like video games and shit, but obviously that's unfair because. You don't play superhero video games and stuff, so I just kept it purely filmed in TV and whatnot. Uh, but if you've got any suggestions for a bracket, of Chris brings up one. I wish I knew Cars, mate. We could have done a Cars bracket, but I don't know. I'd, I'd rock paper Sizzy to the end with uh, Rover 200, mate. <laughs> Rover 200 beats a fucking whatever Subaru or some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what car you... <laughs> uh, visuals, thank you for listening. Just go and watch something fun now after we've just drowned the yeah, place. Just go and watch people get <laughs> slashed. Go watch Black Panther. In honor, do that. Yeah, do not, that. but go, and watch, Black Panther. go watch Black Panther. Both of them, just a, a back to back of Black Panther. Yeah, just to keep yourself going. And then that will do. We'll we'll tell you all about Thanksgiving next week. Uh, but visual Thanksgiving will keep on keeping on. Yes, and uh, love you, bye. Beautiful.